They're not after me. They're after you. I'm just in the way. That's right. Well, what would they throw you in jail for? If I, if, because maybe I'm talking against them. Maybe that's all they need. But did have you ever hoarded classified documents in a bathroom at your golf club? Well, no. But then again, I've never been president either, and I've never had any uh, exoneration from whatever the document rule. But why would they come after you? Well, because they're coming after any, everybody in this country. One of Donald Trump's favorite campaign lines is the phrase, they aren't coming after me, they're coming after you. And this MAGA patriot is taking Trump seriously, even if she can't explain what she's talking about. That clip comes to us from our friends at The Good Liars. And if you think it sounds crazy when this lady says it, wait until you hear Trump try and compare himself to a Christ-like figure suffering for the MAGA movement. Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists, indict me. I consider it a badge, a great, great, beautiful badge of honor and courage. Because I'm being indicted for you. But Trump is starting to struggle with his explanation for why the DOJ is indicting him in the first place. That was especially true during the former president's recent trip to New Hampshire, where Trump seemed to struggle with a basic question about whether more audio tapes exist. You're not concerned then with your own voice on those, re on those recordings? My voice was fine. What did I say wrong on those recordings? I didn't even see the recording. All I know is I did nothing wrong. We had a lot of papers, a lot of papers stacked up. In fact, you could hear the rustle of the paper, and nobody said I did anything wrong other than the fake news, which, of course, is Fox, too. Are there any other recordings that we should be concerned of? Uh, I don't know of any recordings that you should be re uh, concerned with because I don't do things wrong. I do things right. I'm a legitimate person. One thing is clear. While it may not seem like Trump's legal troubles are hurting him yet, it only takes a little digging into the data to see that key Trump pillars of support are starting to chip away at the edges. Trump's favorability is clearly slipping. He's fallen six points since the indictment, from a recent high of 45% to just 39% now. And while over half of Republican voters said they'd support him back in May, that fell to just 47% in June. That's not a landslide, but it is enough to keep Trump's team up at night. Of course, all these numbers are looking ahead to a general election against Joe Biden. In the Republican primary, Trump isn't just in the driver's seat, he's already five laps ahead of the field. Just look at NBC's latest polling, which is real grim news for the SS Ron DeSantis. This is still Donald Trump's party. Uh, the federal criminal indictment did nothing, changed absolutely nothing in this. And in fact, from when we first tested the Republican primary matchup in April to today, uh, Donald Trump's lead has nearly doubled. He had a 15-point lead over Ron DeSantis and a, and in a multi-candidate field in April. It is now ballooned to 29 points. He's now over the 50% mark. Yep. Donald Trump is now fully doubling Ron DeSantis' support. I know, it's hard to believe, what with Ron DeSantis spending his campaign cash on inspiring graphic design like this. But here's the thing. Just because Donald Trump is snowballing his way to the GOP nomination doesn't mean everyone is comfortable with that. Take House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who seems, well, less than excited at the idea of even more Donald Trump in his life. So Trump's been indicted. Um, his poll numbers are going up, so primary voters like him. It, it, if he wins the primary, do you think he can win the general? And is it good for the Republican Party if, if Donald Trump is the nominee? Look, and it makes it complicated if, if he's got all these trials and, and, and all this stuff overhanging. It the, makes it complicated, also helps him when. But do you think he Democrats could win an election? Could he win an election? Can and, he and win get, that election? Yeah, he can. You think he can? You, the, the question is, is he the strongest to win the election? I don't know that answer. But can somebody, can anybody beat Biden? Yeah, anybody can beat Biden. Another profile in political courage from Kevin McCarthy, a guy who and you hate to say it, you can almost understand why Trump and so many other people seem to like walking on him. And yeah, McCarthy did say Trump being a felon helps the GOP. Yikes. But here's the really scary part. Even though Trump is facing multiple federal charges and potentially hundreds of years behind bars, recent polling shows he's actually leading Joe Biden in a head-to-head -head matchup. It's worth noting that in that same poll, DeSantis loses to Joe Biden by two points. But the red lights are flashing here, and Democrats have been slow to recognize that facing Trump in 2024 
is going to require just as much, if not more, effort than it did in 2020. We know the kind of America Donald Trump is promising, one where white supremacy is admired, where January 6th insurrectionists are released from federal prison, where strongman politics replaces the democratic order. And unless Democrats push back, he'll be back in the White House very soon. And this isn't even the craziest conspiracy theory Republicans have cooked up. Check out this video, where I break down all the details of the GOP's Hunter Biden bribery scandal. I mean, it's wild stuff, man. And leave a comment below so you can let me know what I should cover next.